We have the date of the holiday, but we want to know the weekday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if we're going to use the formula weekday, we can put in the date, and we have a type here. But check out the types. The types just refer to a number. So we can put in 1 here, and we can get a number. If we have this, we need to create a little VLOOKUP table, let's say. And we need to correspond to the number of day of the week. So we can create this here, or we can create it some other tab if we want. But this is all very complicated. We're going to have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're going to have to do equals Sunday, Sunday, Monday. And we're going to take this all the way down. And we're going to have to turn this into a VLOOKUP. Now this is pretty tough to sort of remember all of this, but it's possible, totally possible to do. Put the range here, index two, is it sorted, false. Is it a Wednesday? New Year's Day is actually, yes, a Wednesday. So if we wanted to change this type to zero, let's say, or two, let's say, it's going to change our need to do a VLOOKUP table. So we want to put that to one, so that it's one, two, three, four through seven, Sunday through Saturday. And now we can change all of these numbers to its corresponding weekday. We do have to probably lock this D2 to E8. There, that works. And is it a Wednesday? Yes, it is. But there's another way to do this that is pretty simple. Uh, and I, I like to do this with formatting. So let's delete this and just put literally the day of the week, the date. And we're trying to get the weekday out of it. Let's fo go to format. Let's go to number. Scroll down to custom date and time. And here we see up here a drop down menu that shows us what can we select out of these numbers. Can we show it in a different way? And we can. Here we have day as full name, Tuesday as abbreviation, T-U-E for Tuesday or Tuesday the full name. What we need to do is delete everything except the day. So we're going to delete the year and those slashes and just select day. And now we can say day as full name, apply. And now the display is just formatting the date. Now we could potentially just change that date there, but we can also do something else equals this. And now we're referring to just this singular date here and showing the weekday with just this simple formula equals B2 and a formatted cell. And I think this is simpler because we're still using this date. We don't need to change it. And we don't need to use a formula combination like VLOOKUP and weekday. But it is also up to you if you want to, which one you want to use. I just wanted to show you two ways to know the day of the week from any day. Now we can change it any year, any month, any day, and it will show us the weekday. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you are looking to get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before, make sure to sign up at bettersheets.co. Become a member for a small price. You get access to hundreds of tutorials, spreadsheets, templates, and tools, including an AI formula generator that is going to help you through some really complicated formulas and any speed bumps you occur when you're using Google Sheets. So join us today over at Better Sheets. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Bye.